Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A. Today we've got a very cool trailer showing off the bonus map for Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer Freefall. This is a dynamic map where it will change as time progresses, so there are different lines of sight. Lots of cool stuff that I'll be talking to you guys about after I've shown you the trailer so you do not miss anything at all. We literally have a few days until Call of Duty launches on November the 5th. Make sure you're subscribed and ready for videos on that day. I'm going to have a ton of awesome stuff for you guys, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. So there we go guys, this map honestly looks really, really cool. I think it's very different to something we've uh, ever seen before in Call of Duty. So I cannot wait to get hands on and actually play this map for myself. I really like this opening cinematic here. You think the map is facing one way and then you see a character running along the ground and you realize everything's just flips up upside down, completely different. Uh, this looks very, very nice. Uh, I'd assume this would all be taken from next generation uh, console build of the game. So it looks fantastic. And uh, this game will be launching on the the 5th and current gen and then I'll be covering it again when it launches for the next generation consoles just to show you guys comparisons etc but as I said at the beginning of the video at the moment this is only a bonus pre-order map however for the maps like uh, Newtown Zombies, Newtown 2025 they all became available to everyone at a later date I'm pretty sure that will happen but uh, I cannot guarantee it and I do not know when it will happen so the best thing to do is probably to pre-order your edition of the game if you pre-order it on current gen of an upgrade to say uh, next generation and you're on the same platform so if you go from 360 to Xbox One uh, this map will carry over as well which is very very cool if you're interested in doing that and here we get to see the new perspective of the map how everything is actually on its side this is a sideways face facing building which is actually um, falling between two buildings on either side and it looks phenomenal it looks very very cool indeed there's obviously going to be lots of different lines of sights because as I said and as you see within this trailer this map is constantly changing changing uh, and when the big changes happen, new lines of sights open up, different pathways open up. So the map is almost two maps within one. So you need to know how the map works before the change and how the map works after the change so that you're aware of all the different ro uh, routes, all the different lines of sights uh, before and afterwards, essentially. Now, as far as we know from Infinity Ward, every single multiplayer, uh, multiplayer map within Call of Duty Ghost will have a dynamic map feature. Some of these will be different. Um, so some of them will be very, very big like this map where lots of things change the building will actually fall down and then once it stopped falling it will uh, result in the change in different lines of sights and then some of the other maps as you can see here it's falling down in some of the other maps um, the changes aren't quite sig as significant but there are these dynamic map events and different changes on all of the maps within multiplayer for Call of Duty Ghosts which is very very cool. Uh, now within this trailer we get to see some unusual sights, we get to see a throwing knife coming back which is very awesome as well and these will be shown in a second and I'll talk you through them. Uh, but just this game looks very very good, I think we've seen Call of Duty on all of the uh, current gen consoles now for a long long time, many many years and this honestly stands out to me as looking a lot nicer than any of the previous Call of Duty games. Here we get a look at a very neat little falling spot, we can actually drop down and land on the floor underneath you and this user is using one of the more unusual 
uh, attachments or scopes, which doesn't let you see through walls, but if they are in your line of sight and they're not behind cover, they will be highlighted around the edge of their body. So very good for picking out enemies uh, slightly longer distances that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see quite as easier. Uh, as long as they're sort of out in the open, then you can see them with this scope. Unfortunately, he gets attacked by Riley, the five kill streak within the assault package from the back. I think Riley will be used quite a lot at launch, but I don't think he'll be used too much um, sort of a month or so after launch. I don't think he'll be quite an effective kill streak as some of the other kill streaks that will be available within Call of Duty Ghost. But I'll cover all of the kill streaks and what I like and don't like once the game launches. It looks like there that the character actually died from that dynamic map event. So if you're standing in the wrong place when the dynamic map event happens, you're screwed. You're not going to die, unfortunately. Uh, here we see something very, very cool. So what initially was not a line of sight with that massive uh, piece of brick going through the middle, uh, once the dynamic map event happens, that brick then falls down and results in a new line of sight where the enemy can be shot easily and the sniper gets a very clear line of sight and a free kill essentially. So as I said, I'm going to make you guys aware of these differences and changes once the dy dynamic map events happen. Once the game launches on November the 5th here on my channel, here we can see one of the kill streaks, a juggernaut with a riot shield pushing forward. Another thing to note, just in case you guys haven't seen all of my videos recently, because there has been a lot of information to catch up with, uh, the actual visual design and look of your characters can be customized and changed via unlocking things through operations. Operations being the new form of challenges within Call of Duty Ghost. The operations won't give you XP. They will unlock, however, these uh, visual bonuses. Here we get a very, very cool look at an RPG flying through one of these tubes, um, one of the parts of the map. Here we get to see the actual throwing knife in action so we know it's uh, being brought back into the game which is awesome again another crazy um just another crazy way of getting around the map jumping from that high point lots of different places you need to be watching and we need to be aware of when playing this map um, and as i said many many times it visually does look very very cool here you get to see the the um uh, slide feature within multiplayer slide feature and lean feature being two new features for the console version. We've had the lean feature in previous Call of Duties on PC, um, but uh, that's new for console version as well. This brings us to the end of this trailer, which is absolutely awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and if you haven't seen any of my recent videos, there's been so much information covering ranking up within multiplayer, the new extinction mode, tons of details on that, uh, camos within multiplayer, loads and loads of awesome stuff that can all be found on screen by clicking the annotations or clicking the link in the description if you're on a mobile device. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Get ready for November the 5th. Make sure you're here on my channel for videos, and I'll see you guys then.